Why have I already begun filming? God. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first video and it's already off to a very good start. Not. Because today is the first day of Spookathon and yeah, I haven't uploaded anything about what I was going to read. So that's this video. I was going to update you on my TBR for the Spookathon this week. So the first challenge is to read a book that is a thriller. So for that, I will be reading Disclaimer by Renee Knight. Um, this title is in my native language, which is Dutch. Um, so I'm going to be reading that in my own language. So this book is about a woman that reads a book. So this book's about a woman who reads a book and that book is about her life, which is really weird because she hasn't written it, but it's her life and the book seem to have lots of similarities that are very creepy and yeah, I'm excited to read this. So the second challenge is to read a book with red on the cover. So that's going to be Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Um, yeah, it has the nice red shoe. I was always going to start this series, I haven't read it. So um, yes, I'm excited. Um, but also I might just combine this with the last challenge, which is to read something outside of your comfort zone. And while it's a science fiction or like a dystopian kind of book, I don't often read sci-fi or dystopian fiction. So like if there is dystopian nonfiction, so yeah, I might pick that up for that challenge as well if I don't have time to fit it all in one week because I'm kind of late to the party, but that's on me, right? The third challenge is to read a book with a spooky setting. And for that, I will be reading Entreat Me by Grace Draven. I have read some of her other books, which I loved. Um, I think this is a retelling of something. The one I read by her was uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling, which I really loved. But this is set in some kind of weird old, old-timey castle or something. So that one is for the spooky setting. It also had red on the cover, so yes, covering my bases. So the last challenge that I'm going to mention, which is the fourth, I already covered the last, like my mind, wow, is to read a book with a spooky word in the title. I've already started this audiobook actually, and it's Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. Um, I'm really loving it so far. I'm going to finish it today. Um, so yeah, excited about that. So this book will fulfill the challenge for the spooky word in the title because undead is kind of a creepy word, isn't it? And for the last challenge, which I've already mentioned previously, um, to read outside of my comfort zone, I might pick up Bad Blood, Secrets and Lies in a Silicon Valley Startup by John Carreyrou. I might pick that up if I have time, but um, for now, all of the other books that I mentioned will cover all the bases of the challenges for this week, for this readathon. So thank you very much for watching my very first video on the YouTubes. Um, yes, let's read. For this bookathon, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to maybe vlog. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to time and find time to film all that. But um, yeah, see you until my next video.